So you're about to embark on a new beginning, a project or a relationship, just something that is outside your comfort zone, but something you're looking forward to. What are the steps to go about this? First, you need to acknowledge that you are going outside your comfort zone. You need to acknowledge the fears that come with that. So I'm going to mention to you, for me, in my experience, recently I did a paid presentation for teenage girls. And it was the first time I was asked to do a paid presentation. This put pressure on me because in the past I've done it for free and all of a sudden knowing that I was being paid for it made me think, oh, okay, I need to work even harder and putting a lot of pressure. So once I realized that, I wrote down all of my fears, including is the information going to be valuable enough, be engaging enough, and is it going to resonate with them? So all of those fears were written down. Once I did that, I turned the fears into the positive opposite. How do I create even more powerful content, more engaging content? The focus was on how I get more of what I want in this situation. Next, I was able to then give myself compassion. Public speaking is something that not everyone is very fond of, and it's something that I've had to practice and get better and better at over time. And included in that is allowing yourself to be more vulnerable and connect with other people for that reason. So self-compassion, this isn't easy, but it's something that's really important to me and I'm going to do it and give myself time. The next step is you need to let go of something in order to gain something new, whether it's a belief, a thought, a pattern, behavior, and In doing so, make room for the new. Whatever it is that's holding you back, you need to make that commitment to yourself that you're ready to let it go. And that can be quite challenging and uncomfortable in itself. So self-compassion can follow you to this step as well. You then take the action to get the result that you want. Once you've done, say, the presentation or whatever it is, gone on your date and you've done your best, you've put all your energy into it and passionately focused on the content or the delivery that's when you actually are able to ask for feedback it can be a bit daunting and you might feel a bit vulnerable there as well but if you want to keep stretching your comfort zone and getting better at what you're doing this is a perfect opportunity so my feedback I was really really happy with the feedback and I got one point for improvement which then takes you to the next step of integration. So I've made space and time to integrate what I've learned. I was really proud, I was happy, I was also quite tired because it took a lot of energy to really be in the moment and in flow, being present and connecting with the young ladies who were all quite keen to learn the content. And finally, because I want this positive experience to be even more positive, I reward myself. So whatever that looks like for you, I took my husband out and we went and had a really nice brunch somewhere and went for a walk by the beach. And for me, that was a really positive association of I did something important to me. It resonated with other people. I've stretched my comfort zone. I want to keep taking steps forward. So this is my reminder that I've achieved a victory. And once you've done all those steps, you can move on to your new goal. Just quickly to remind you, when you are doing a new thing and it's making you uncomfortable, stretching your comfort zone, One, acknowledge that you're stretching yourself outside your comfort zone. Two, focus on the fears. Don't ignore them. Three, turn your fears into positive steps so you can achieve what you really want. Four, infuse a lot of self-compassion because you are going to be needing that to help support you to do the best you can and also not freak out and run away. Five, accept that you need to give something up in order to gain something new. So maybe you need to mourn the loss of something. Six, embrace the new and feng shui i always think about that you've got to make room in your life for what you want whether it's physically and energetically seven you do the best you can with what you've got eight you get feedback and you integrate thinking about what you've learned and what you want to do differently or improve on or just even embrace more of and nine you reward yourself because you've done something fantastic and you want to make that feel even bigger then you can start all over again with the next goal I wish you joy in what you do manifest. It's not an easy journey to expand your comfort zone and create new experiences, but it doesn't need to be hard either and it can be really joyful. Have a great week.